What's up guys, Gamma Estas, welcome to my channel. For those of you who love adventure, today we are going to explore 4 amazing places in Kido. It's going to be crazy, let's go. After a short 45 minutes of flight from El Coca, we land in Kido. Completely different from the rainforest, Kido is so busy in every way. We kinda miss the convenience of living in the city. So we started exploring the city right away. Basilica del Voto Nacional or Basilica of the National Val. Like every visitor to Quito, this landmark is our first stop. First started construction in late 1880s, the church has been a majestic masterpiece. Located in the heart of historical center of Quito, it's the largest church of its kind in the whole America. You could see the church from every corner in the city. The church was originally built to honor the sacred heart of the Jesus. The building is not yet completed as of today. It's a UNESCO site and definitely an Ecuadorian icon. It's one dollar to enter the ground level of the church and there is a different fee for going to the church top. You could see a lot of amazing church design on the ground level. For the full experience, we were told that we have to climb to the church top to see the view. Mm, should I debate about it? Hell no, let's do it. It was kind of cool to see a ceremony live. We continued to head to the top. Coming up on an elevator to the upper level, we immediately were taken to a few tourist shops. Sophia loves llama, so she spent a lot of time here. You can get all sorts of things made out of cashmere wool or llama wool. But we found the pricing here is a bit too expensive. However, they looked great. Coming out from the stores, we immediately saw this. Though the weather wasn't great, the view of Kido from here was absolutely breathtaking. If you are a fan of church decorations, the tainted glass here is something you would appreciate. We continued to head towards the entry for church top. Super pumped. No one is going to check it out. I will man it. What the fuck? Oh man! I felt that I am on clouds. In case I didn't tell you, I am afraid of heights. I hope this won't end in a bungee jump type of thing. I guess we found the only way to the top? A ladder full of holes? Oh, I could use some help here. You know what? I realized that I am definitely no Spider-Man.
Hey, this looks awesome. Almost there. The view from the top made everything worth it. But don't ask me if I would do it again. Not a very good question. Now in hindsight, at least it wasn't crowded. Otherwise, I would have much harder time. Sophia is also coming up soon. Yeah, so that was Basilica of National Val. It's a must visit site in Kido. Just so much to see. After being 3,000 meters above the sea level for an hour, we kind of want to be on the ground. Walking for about 10 minutes, we were surrounded by nice boutique European style shops. We literally could get everything. Overwhelmed with choices for sure. We needed a rest with coffee and music so badly. And this European courtyard place would just give us that. It was a great break. Now being caffeinated and being sugar high, we are ready for our next stop. In the historical center of Kyoto, you don't need to do a lot of planning. For example, seeing something like this is special, as we didn't plan for it. The whole old town Kyoto is a good mix of modern vibe with history. You could easily grab a nice handmade gelato and stare at something over a hundred years old. Should you concern about the safety? I wouldn't over worry about it, but always being cautious is a good move. We did hear that in historical center there might be pocket picking, but luckily we didn't experience that. So we are now in our third stop, which is the San Francisco Catholic Church. Unfortunately, it was getting late and we didn't have the chance to see inside. Instead, I found myself doing something totally random. Sorry pigeons, I can't help it. Yeah, so it was a beautiful square. Lots of opportunity to take some stunning pictures. By the way, it's totally safe and affordable to jump on a cab in Kyoto. We never had to bargain as we found that most drivers would just give us the same rate.
our last stop is at Telefelico, where we're going to take a cable car and go to a mountaintop. If the clouds are clear, we are supposed to see the city kettle in 360 degrees. We were told that we could also see volcanoes from far. It was a 15 minutes cable car ride and we are now on the mountaintop. It didn't take long for us to feel that we needed more air. After we did some research, we realized that we were about 4,000 meters above the sea level. We would suggest visitors not to walk fast and take a lot of breath. Look at what we found. It's a swing on the edge of the mountain. Hey guys, I want that perfect shot of me high up in the sky, okay? Uh, I guess no high up in the sky for me. Yeah, as you probably can tell, it was a very dense fog, so no 360 degree city view bus. So that was our return trip to Kittel. Loved it 100%. Well returned for sure.